In this video, we are going to learn how we can optimize our WordPress website speed. Do your WordPress website speed optimization from this to this. The speed optimization is very important for any website to rank higher in the Google. If you search here on the Google, the speed of the website is important for the ranking. And if you see it, the Google itself reply is the page speed is directly factored for the boss, desktop and the mobile search results. It means the speed optimization is very important. And if you, uh, you know, generally, if you go on the Google and open a website and then uh, if you, the website, it does not load faster. You you will skip this tab and go on the other okay so let me get started first of all you need to go here and the wp rocket wp rocket is a plugin that is widely used for speed optimization for the wordpress websites this is more than 95 or 90 percent recommended by the wordpress developers for speed optimization so let me get started click on buy the plugin and if you talk about the pricing of this 4.9 dollar per month and for the one website and if you buy for more than two websites for example for three websites it will be just nine dollar nine point nine dollar per month and if you select multiple websites more than 50 or if you select 100 you will just get 33.3 dollars .3 per month for 100 websites so like that you can select your package for example we go with the one website now i will just enter my billing details and place the order and here we will get into the dashboard and here you just need to click here download the plugin plugin will be downloaded into your computer or pc now this is my website which is not lo loading you know properly in my browser and if you check the speed of this website on google page speed insights as well as on the gt matrix and here if i show you the speed of this website now you can see the performance of the website is very low you can see this is not loading faster on mobile as well as on the desktop so if you check this on gt matrix on the gt matrix the performance score is c and which is 67 which is very poor for any website that needs to be more than b or a or a plus okay so let's get into our wordpress website and here you just need to click on add new and uh, here we are going to install the wp rocket plugin here you just need to click on upload plugin choose the file and here you just need to select the wp rocket plugin that you have recently downloaded and click on install now now click on activate keep in mind any other plugin or any other cache plugin if you have already installed so you need to uninstall it or deactivate to work the wp rocket perfectly and now if you navigate here after activating the plugin settings click on wp rocket here now here in this page you need to make sure your license activation here and because i have officially downloaded from the rock wp rocket so this is already you know activated okay now if you want to optimize the speed of your website now here you can see first step is file optimization and css and js file optimization in this tab you can modify and minify your css file as well as optimize css delivery for example if your css is not delivering properly sometimes your website load faster but your css does not load faster or your you know bulky pages appear so here you can see uh, activate and remove the under css if there are some critical css keep in mind you need to have the backup of your website now you just need to click here combine the javascript files it means the all the you know third party javascript files or any other http requested files will be combined here and here load javascript defeated so keep in mind if you are going to activate all of these you know uh, file or options you need to have the backup because sometimes it does not you know uh, if it does not uh, load any option so you must have the backup okay and click on save changes now we optimize our media or files that we have enable for images i mean it will optimize the images enable for css 
images or background images enable for iframes sometimes you use the videos or audios for example if you visit my home page there are some youtube videos embedded so for that this is best to enable this option for example this option okay so replace youtube iframe with the preview image so it will load faster i mean instead of loading the image of the youtube thumbnail it will give you a preview image here and then it will load the you know full video link into your pages for example this is the video youtube embedded video and this option will replace the youtube iframe with the preview image so i hope you understand that and here add missing dimensions it means it will also best to add missing height attributes for the images that it will be best for the layout shift okay and free load font fonts it means sometimes the lcp uh, you know recommend that to preload the fonts okay and self-hosted google fonts for example if you have used any google fonts it will also optimize these okay now you just click on reload and here activate preload is also already enabled and here you can see the advanced rules so specify after which global cache is will be clear i mean automatically uh, after 10 hours the cache will be clear sometime you have updates and sometime time you have design updates on your your website so the cache will be cleared on after 10 hours okay and here never cache urls from them you don't need to cache any url of your website so you can paste here and here you can also specify the cookie as so user agents for example google agents and here the always bug url sometime your urls always update so you can also add the you know the bug urls here okay now here in the database you can also optimize your database but i recommend you to optimize database before you have the backup okay and here uh, you can optimize the tables and the other things you can see the backup of your database before the cleaning up okay and you can just click on save and optimize so it will you know optimize your database so whenever you optimize your database uh, hopefully your other things but i mean if you have installed any unnecessary plugin on your website and you have uninstalled it so database will be covered i mean database will be busy with the tables of this unnecessary plugin now on the cdn tab you can connect to your cdn if you are using any content delivery network for example cloudflare or any other so you can also configure and here in the heartbeat you can just control the heartbeat for example uh, the server apis and so on and here uh, in the um, you know image optimization you can install this plugin to optimize your images but i recommend you to have the backup of your images because sometimes it you know optimize your images and resize that all images and here in the tools if you have already you know uh option okay the configuration of the you know uh w rocket so you can just import and export you if you have already you know configured this perfectly on any other website you can export or import the options or settings here and here you can just watch the tutorials provided by this plugin uh w rocket that you can easily watch and it, you can get help okay and by clicking on save changes all the changes will be saved now uh, after saving the changes we are going to check the speed of, of our website this is the speed before the configuring the plugin okay now we just click on retest and let's recheck how much this been optimized now if you see here <laughs> the grade is a the performance is 100 percent structure and 97 and everything is green so from c to a we have jumped okay so our website is now perfectly optimized the speed of our website is perfectly and 100 percent optimized for you know uh speed so now this website is 100 percent done for the seo and it will rank higher on the google because we have optimized our website speed so um Keep in mind, you just need to go on the WP Rocket plugin page and download the plugin and install on your website and 
optimize by seeing my video and i hope you love this video and if you like this video please subscribe my channel and hit the like button and comment below if you have any other issues regarding this plugin